hi guys my name is Ufe and welcome back again to my channel in today's video we are going to look at how to possibly fix a broken hard drive with a clicking noise this is a broken hard drive and i'm going to connect it to this computer using this SATA adapter now listen to the sound of this hard drive There is a clicking noise. This means the drive read and write heads are out of control. One may ask, what are the possible causes of this problem? We can talk about rust, corrosion, or death that builds up at the read or write head connector. Two, vibration or accidental drop of the drive can also cause this problem. Three, when there is water damage to the circuit board. Four, wear and tear or frequent use of the drive can also cause the disc splatter to worn out and as a result, the drive head will no longer be able to read or write from the disc surface. But in the majority of cases, if your hard drive suddenly stops working and you can hear the motor spinning or just this clicking problem, I will advise you follow this tutorial. First, here are the four standard hard drives that can be disassembled with various screwdrivers. The first three smaller hard drives are for laptop or notebook computers, whilst the bigger hard drive is for a desktop computer. Now, let's check the hard drive screws one after the other to notice the difference. This is a Western Digital hard drive and it normally requires Dox T6 screwdriver. Seagate and Toshiba hard drives requires a small size cross headed screwdriver. HGST and Hitachi hard drives requires a T5 screwdriver. And for most desktop hard drives, you need a Tox T6 screwdriver to disassemble the PCB. Now, let me show you samples of the screwdrivers we can use to remove the circuit board. This is a small cross-headed screwdriver. This is Tox T6 screwdriver. This is Tox T5 screwdriver. You also need an eraser to clean the drive terminals. First, let's disassemble the hard drive circuit board as demonstrated in the video. Lift the circuit board gently. Now, you can see two sections on both the circuit board and the hard drive itself. This side runs the drive motor, whilst this side controls the read and write heads. Now, let's clean here with an eraser. Let's do the same for this point too. After, let's reassemble the circuit board to the drive.
Now, let's connect the drive to a computer and see if it works. Oh yeah, the drive is reading now and showing up in my computer. I can also access the information on the drive. So that's the end of today's tutorial. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you promptly. Also give this video a thumbs up if you find it useful and also share it to anyone you think might need it. Consider subscribing if you wish to see more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.